all you Conan Exile fans out there, it's Granny Gamester back with another beginner's guide to Conan Exiles. Now I am playing on the PlayStation 4 single player. And in today's guide, we're going to talk about building gateways, drawbridges, and elevators. Yeah, I have decided to extend my base uh, out this direction. I want to move my uh, religious altar over there and up there. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to make a gateway, a drawbridge, and some elevators. Yeah. So I thought I'd show you how this is done. Now, what I like to do in order to keep everything aligned properly, I like to start with foundations directly from my base and I will build these foundations all the way to where I want them to end up. So in this case, it's going to be all the way over there. Now I can pull these up later because I'm going to put the drawbridge here because I do not want to block the path to the Shattered Springs, which is down that way. So a drawbridge is in order here. So in order to do that, we need to build the gateway first. And in order to do that, you need to go into your feats and under builder. You need to scroll down to Journeyman Mason because this is the first place you're going to find your uh, gatekeeper. Now that requires a level 27 and once you do that you're going to be able to handcraft it right in your handcrafting section. So you'll see mine is right here. It's the insulated wooden gateway. So I have one already made up so let's go ahead and pull that out. And then they do take three foundations to place. So if I have trouble placing these, what I will do is I will take a foundation and put it on either side of the three foundations that I want it to be placed in. So I'm going to place one here. I'm going to go over three and then I'm going to place another one. So now I have the slot for that to fit into. So I'm going to get up here and pull it out and we're going to get it to place right there. It just makes it so easy. Yeah, very, very easy. Now you do need foundations to place this on. You cannot place this on ceiling tiles, which I have done here, because in some builds I've attempted to do that and it does not work and I'll show you why. As you can see, it already is being difficult. Uh, I can't get it to place if I do the foundations on either side like I would do to get it placed. Uh, it will only place in the middle of the foundations, not on the edge. And when that happens, uh, your drawbridge will not place. Yeah, you cannot put a drawbridge in there. And plus, it's difficult to build walls around that when it's like that. So, uh, yeah, some of the master builders might know a way around that. If you do, uh, yeah, please leave uh, a comment in, in uh, you know, the comment section. Uh, and let us know, but uh, I don't know of any other way to do that other than to have foundations for support underneath that. So once you have your gateway uh, built, now you're ready for your drawbridge. So again, you want to go into your feats. You want to go to building, and this time you want to scroll down to Master Mason. Now in order to get the Master Mason, you need to be a level 30. But to get the drawbridge, you need to be a level 39. So you'll notice under Gatekeeper for the Master Builder, uh, the drawbridge is listed on the right-hand side. Now this also you have to make at the Carpenter's Bench. You cannot make this in your handcrafting section. So I have one already here. So let's go ahead and pop that in. As you can see, it immediately hooks to this gateway no problem. If I try to put it over here, it says must be attached to an appropriate slot in the existing building, so it won't place there. If I try to place it um, within this one over here, that, that mishappen gateway, it won't place either. So uh, yeah, we need to place it in a solid place. Once we get that in, you can see the ropes go up, it attaches to the gateway itself, and then you will find a little pull chain here, and this will pull it up. Yeah, it's so cool. 
really like this. The only drawback to these is that um, if you happen to be on the other side with your drawbridge closed, <laughs> you're not going to be able to open it. It's a one-way deal. So we're going to go ahead and lower this again. And you're going to see it's not going to quite fit across. I'm a little short here. Yeah. So this will take one, two, three, four foundations across, but we need it to line up with our base on this side. So what I'm going to do in this case to make it meet, I don't want to use foundations, so I'm going to use ceiling tiles to meet it. Yes. Now I can only go this far and then the next ceiling tiles will not place unless I pull up the drawbridge. Yeah. So we're going to go over and do that and then finish our other ceiling tiles. Now again, you are limited on how many tiles. I believe it's five. And as you can see, it's warning me if I go any further, it's it's saying, ah, oh, your, your stability is out. And then voila, your stability is gone. You can't place any more. So you have to take that into consideration how long you're making it um, to meet your drawbridge. If I made this any longer, oh, did that place? It did, didn't it? Yes, okay. I need to give it a moment. So it will place, yeah, I think it's five here I've got. Let's see, one, two, three. Yeah, five. So uh, I don't need that, of course, so I'm going to pull these up. But when you're building that, you have to keep that in mind. And if I decided to go any further, I would actually have to put pillars in or uh, more foundations to actually support these ceiling tiles because they would not go that far. And I think I actually pulled up one more than I intended to here. Yeah, I think I needed at least three. So let's go ahead and put those back. Did you place? Yes, you did. All right, so now let's go back and... Lower our drawbridge. And now it meets. Very awesome. So now we're on the other side. We have our drawbridge in place. So now I can go down here and I can remove all of these foundations. Yeah. Now that I have everything aligned with my original base, I can align everything else from here. Okay, so now let's talk about elevators. Yeah, I want an elevator up there. Yeah, so in order to do that, and again, just to keep this aligned, I can always pull these out later, but I want this all aligned, so I'm building these up. And once I do that, I can climb all the way to the top. And if this is, uh, you know, if you can't build quite that high, just get up on the rocks and get up on top and then build from there. It's all possible. So once I'm up on top, I'm ready to place my elevator. I could also place it probably from down there too. I didn't try that, but it might be possible. So to get your elevator, again, you want to go into your fees. I need it to scroll over here. Come on, lag. There we go. And again, into building. Now the elevator you can get with Apprentice Mason. It's right here. Yeah. Now there is a vertical and a horizontal elevator. So you want to go and highlight that. 
And then now that you have your elevator, we're going to work with the vertical, of course, because that's what we want to do is to go down. Now, I wanted this to um, hit my base down there. So I built this out far enough so the elevator will automatically attach to that down there. Now you want to make sure you bring it up. See, it is placing there, but you can't walk out onto it. You've got the top in the way. So you want to make sure that you have it up high enough like that. So we're going to go ahead and put this on the end here. And then you just get on your elevator, hit your little skeleton keychain, and down you go. Now, because I already have a foundation under there, it's going to line up with that. Yeah, easy peasy. Yeah, very, very cool. Very nice. Now, there is another way that you can do it. If you don't have something built underneath it, uh, the elevator will create its own base on the ground. As long as you have a foundation on the top, you do not need to uh, have a foundation underneath. It will create its own, and I will show you that in a moment here. These are kind of slow. Now you can get a fast elevator. It's a chance with a uh, fragment of power in the unnamed city where the uh, archivist is and the scrolls that I showed in a previous uh, how-to. Yeah, you can get it by chance there, fast elevator. So as you can see, I can place this here and once I do, I don't have any foundation underneath, but if you look down there, you can see it's created its own. Yeah, so you don't really need to have a foundation underneath it if you don't want to. So that's how that works. Now the horizontals, to place those, and I have one right here. This one says unable to find a valid location, and that's because it needs something to attach itself to. So in this case, if I put it here, it's gonna work, but it's gonna go this direction because there's no foundations from this point to this point. If you have foundations like from here to that wall over there, it's not gonna place because there's foundations there. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and place this here, and then we're going to get on it. And it's going to take us right over to this elevator. This is so cool. This is great if you're doing a tree house build, yeah, in the jungle, go from tree to tree. But again, remember, you must have a base in order to attach these two to get them to work. Now, as you can see with this one, it's going to place here, even though there's nothing on the other side at all. So watch what happens when I place this. See, it's created its own base over there, its own stopping point on that cliff side because it has a cliff side. So it's going to take me right over. Yeah. Very, very cool. Yeah. So there's your elevators. Now I'm all set. Once I have this elevator coming up here, now I can go ahead and build uh, on my, my shrine placement up here, which is a great big area. And who knows what else I might do. But these um, building pieces allow you to do so much. They're just so much fun. And yeah, be creative. Have fun with it. It's, uh, it's a blast, especially in the drawbridges. I get a big kick out of those. So, yeah. All right, guys. Well, if you found it helpful, give me the big old like. And if you'd like to see more, just subscribe. And if you hit that little bell, you'll be notified when I post my next video. All right, guys. Uh, thanks so again uh, so much for watching. And until next time, GG out.